YouTube, it's Zaya, and today I'm back with another video. This is going to be my first ever official YouTube video on my own channel, and I'm super excited about it, so yeah. Um, if you guys couldn't tell, I started my own YouTube channel. Yes, me and John are still friends. Yes, we still have our YouTube channel together, but I talked to her about it, and I decided I want to start my own, and she's probably going to start her own too, so we kind of have some separate channels, but we also can like have a channel together and not always have to be on each other's time, which is kind of helpful. Um, this channel is going to be a little bit more serious. I'm hoping to do fashion, DIYs, lifestyles, and vlogs on here. Um, it's going to be more about kind of what I want to do in the future um, and sh sharing my passions with you guys. So I'm really excited to be here and have this channel and finally get it started. Um, and yeah. Alrighty, let's get into the video. So if you guys couldn't tell, today I am going to be doing a Q&A about what it's like to work at Champs Sports, which is a shoe store, clothing store, if you guys didn't know. Um, and also my shoe collection, which I have over there, but you guys can't see it because it's not in the frame, but that's besides the point. Okay, so let's just let's get into the video. Let's see. Okay, so the first question is, what is it like working at Champs? So honestly, it's so fun. Like I have had, the only other job that I've had like officially is I worked at Taco Bell for a little bit just because I really wanted money and a lot of my friends worked there, so it was fun. But working at Champs really is fun. Like you get to meet so many different people every day and the people I work with, I love them. They're so amazing, like my second family. Um, and I've been working there for a little over a year now. And they've just always been there for me and they're just like my little work family, my little work friends. Uh, we all get along, we have so much fun working together. So it's just really fun. You get to be around shoes all day and just share your passion, especially if you're a sneakerhead. It's a bonus. Question number two, how did I get hired? So basically, I used to go into Champs and Foot Locker a lot because as you guys know, I love shoes. Um, but when my first like sneaker head kind of addiction was starting, um, I would go in there a lot, I would shop around in there a lot, I would go in there a lot with my guy friends because you know, they love shoes a lot, so I'd go in there with them. Um, and usually the manager always helped me to get shoes when I went in there, but I didn't know he was the manager until he's like, eventually I found out later when I got hired. But at first I didn't know, um, and I remember one time I was at the register, I was checking out, and he was like, oh, are you looking for a job? And at the time I was actually looking for a job. It was kind of crazy how it worked out because I was looking for a job. And he asked me, he was like, oh, I like your vibe, I like your energy, you should apply here, you could be a good asset to our team. So I was like, okay, um, I'll do that. So then he kind of told me how to apply. I went online, filled out an application. Um, hiring process, I had an interview, it went well, and then after that, basically I just got hired. But the whole process itself took about a month. Um, they were a little bit slow getting back to me, but I was just consistently like checked in on them. I consistently made it clear that I wanted the job. I would call them, kind of bug them a little bit, which you have to do when you're getting hired, because if you don't do that, then it just shows, okay, maybe they don't really care about the job as much, but if you're a little more persistent and you kind of bug them a little bit, but like in a respectful way, they're gonna be like, oh, she's interested, you know, she wants a job, so they're probably gonna give it to you. Is it hard to get hired? So for me, it wasn't, um, just because I had known like the workers there and just because I had had good conversations with the manager without knowing, you know, um, but for other people, if you don't really go in there a lot or they don't know you that well, it's going to be a little trickier to get the job. I know a lot of people that applied and waited for months and months to even hear back or have been trying to get the job for a long time, never got it or applied five times and never got the job, you know, so it's just one of those things. Um, it's kind of hit or miss, but usually we hire like a bunch of people at once around like back to school time or the winter time or holidays and then we don't hire again for like a whole year or we don't hire again for like six months. Like for the entire time I've been working here, this is when we just started hiring. They've hired a few people, but recently they hired a bunch more people like two months ago and they had never done that ever since I worked there and I had been working there for over a year now. So that's kind of a while. Um, next question is... What was the interview like? Um, so the interview, it was kind of standard. They just asked me what I think, like I expected to be able to know at this job, what I think I would be doing, um, kind of have I ever worked in retail, just kind of all that stuff. And they asked me a few personal questions, like some fun questions, kind of get to know me. Um, and I just had, I had a good interview, so it was pretty chill. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what they asked me because that's not really like, 
I don't know, I feel like that's a little more exclusive information. So another really big question I get is, do you have to know about shoes to work here? So if you're applying to Chance Foot Locker Foot Action, whatever shoe place you're applying to, if it's a shoe store, you should know a little bit. Like you don't have to be like some super sneakerhead, but you should kind of know a little bit about shoes. Um, you should kind of have some passion about it. My strong suit is basketball shoes because I played basketball, so I know a lot about them and I was always like super picky and did all my research on them before I bought my shoes to play for the season. Um, so yeah, you should know a little bit about shoes, but also like when once you get the job if you get the job you're gonna learn so much on the job so that's honestly like i literally learned so much about shoes just working there like you're gonna learn as you go and you're gonna grow but you should definitely have a passion for it a little bit just so you can be the best team member possible you should have a passion for shoes athletic wear like you know just know a little bit about it if you're gonna apply there because that's what you're gonna be around and working with so yeah the answer is you should know a little bit and you should you should like those things if you're going to be working there so okay this is probably the best question it's just like funny question every time people ask me this they're like okay this is the question so people ask me this a lot and they say what's the discount because i know a lot of people that i feel like just apply to champ to full locker just for discount and yeah it's a great bonus especially if you're a sneakerhead but for me, it was never about that. Like when I first applied there, I had never even thought of applying to a shoe store. And then I was like, well, I like low key like the vibe in here. I should apply here, you know? I can really be myself at this work. No one's gonna judge me. I get to talk with people. It's gonna be fun. The discount is 30%. You get 30% all the time. Um, and then you get 50% twice a year. So usually you get around holiday season or you get around back to school season. Sometimes it's more than twice a year, but usually it's only twice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And the discount's only for you. you. You can't like extend it to family members and all that. Of course, you can like buy gifts for people. But if you have, if you buy anything, it has to be under your name. Like you have to buy it with your card. But I don't know. The discount is definitely a perk because it's really helped my shoe collection. And also kind of made me broke though because <laughs> I spent a lot more money on shoes and clothes than I probably should. So I kind of had to like chill out. When you're working there like you need to just like have self-control because you're gonna want to buy everything you're gonna buy all the shoes buy all the clothes but you just tell yourself like okay well if i didn't have the discount would i still buy it and if the answer is no then you probably shouldn't buy it because you're either way you're still spending money you just got to be smart about how you spend your money um what's my favorite part about the job my favorite part about the job is probably just all the people you get to interact with. Like you literally get to meet so many different people every single day from different backgrounds and like histories and cultures and people that speak different languages and it's just so fun. Like you get to learn how to read people based off their style and appearance, how to approach people. Um, you kind of learn how to communicate with people better which is the number one thing I think this job has taught me is how to like interact with people in a way that you can match their energy or you can understand them with only asking a few questions kind of know what they like their style their interests their hobbies so that's just the normal thing and people come to the mall from all over the world so like i've met like foreign exchange students people that are coming from like mexico especially met a lot of people coming from there or even visiting from like russia and all that is really cool and you get to see like oh, out there it's way different than it's here. You get to talk with them. And also like another challenge is trying to separate friendship from work. Like sometimes it gets kind of hard because you want to talk to your friends, your coworkers. Um, but I'm pretty good at it and all my teammates are pretty good at it. We know when it's like, okay, like we need to be working. We're at work right now. It's not time to like completely socialize. But we can still have a lot of fun and kind of mess around and the customers enjoy the feeling of the store when it's like fun like that, you know, not so uptight and like, Oh my god oh my god everybody's high strung you know so that's what customers love about our store is how like outgoing we are in our store and we just have a lot of fun together and yeah um and then last question before i get to my shoe collection because i know you guys want to see that is is it easy working there the answer is no i feel like other retail is probably a little easier because you just have to fold clothes and kind of deal with clothes but when you're a shoe store like champs you're working with clothes and shoes so it's double the effort hang and fold everything 
we gotta clean our own store we don't have people to clean it for us we have to make sure that the wall like layout is the correct way because it does change for like every season so we have to make sure it's correct we usually our managers deal with all that but we still have to deal with some of it we gotta do like inventory checks um you have to know where like the back stuff the back room like where the shoes are to make it a lot easier knowing color code reading so it's kind of a lot and also like the number one thing is you have to be very versatile when dealing with customers you have to know who you're dealing with how to deal with the situation you have to deal with difficult situations sometimes that you don't want to deal with and be okay with it way different vibe than fast food um people that are usually there at champs are there to succeed and are kind of more competitive um i feel like in fast food people aren't really as competitive they're just kind of there for like paychecks at least personally that was kind of my experience so no it's not easy but it's not also like excruciatingly difficult it's a pretty mediocre job i feel like most people could do it but moral of the story if you're interested in applying to chance Foot Locker or any shoe store like just do it it's literally so fun you're gonna have so much fun there if you're looking for a job that's a great option i just highly recommend doing it you're gonna meet so many cool people have some more friends and your shoe game your shoe game is gonna be so fire trust me but you also be kind of broke but it's okay but your shoe game is gonna be really good you have so much more cute clothes too um and also one more good thing to remember is that Foot Locker and Champs, they do work around your schedule, so you get to build your schedule basically and say like when you're available. So yeah, you get to just put your availability and they're really nice and understanding. So yeah, moral story, go work there. Okay guys, let's get into my shoe collection. Uh, I'm gonna start off showing you guys my first pair of Jordans that I ever bought. These are like the first pair of shoes that kind of like kick started my shoe collection I feel like. It was like the first one where I was like, okay, like I'm kind of cool, I just bought some Jordans. I bought them before I started working out Champs, um, but I felt really cool after I bought them. So, the reveal. These are the Jordan 1 Infrareds, they're the mids, okay? Before you guys hate on me for buying mids, let me tell you. For me, it's about like the way the shoe looks. I don't really care if it's a mid, high, low. If I like the colorway, I'm gonna buy it. And also like the highs are literally so expensive. Like unless you buy them when they first drop, they're ridiculous. Like I don't wanna spend 300, 400, 500 dollars on a pair of shoes right now because I don't, that's like a whole paycheck for me. And I don't have that money right now. I like to save my money. I like to spend it smartly and make it go far. I like to get the most out of it that I can and I like to save it. So, until I can afford to buy shoes like that, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so the second pair I'm going to show you guys are these Jordan Mids. They're another pair of Mids, and I think they're called the Laker Top 3, I think is what it's called. So there's like the yellow and purple from the Lakers. Um, there's some blue and there's red. There's even a little orange on there. So, yeah, these ones are really cute though. I do wear these a lot. And, yeah. These ones are probably my favorite pair of mids. These are the Chicago Black Toes. Um, and then the other pair has like the white laces in it. And I love, I don't know if you guys know, but like at this point you might be able to tell, I love to do like every other lace. So basically I switch out the shoes. So it's like, I only have one side to each shoe because I feel like I didn't take both off. But basically I have like the laces switched out. So then it's like one's white, one's black. Um, but yeah, so these are my Chicago black toes. I wish I had the OG highs, but then again, they're like $500, 400 something crazy. So not gonna spend money on that. Okay, so those are all the mids that I have. I don't have any highs. I wish I did. I promise I'm gonna get some eventually. I really want some because they're cute. But now I'm gonna go to my Jordan 1 lows. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my favorite pair of lows and that is these blue with like black on the inside and there's the white and yeah um so these kind of remind me of the dunks like i know there's the red ones the red dunks i really wanted those those were fire but they have blue dunks that look basically just like this but these are not um dunks I don't know what this colorway is, forgive me guys, I don't know every colorway by heart, but I saw these and they are literally so cute and I got them for like 80 bucks because of my discount, but yeah, I love these. Um, okay, so my next pair is 
these pink ones they're so cute i love them okay so then i also bought these in the bottom Ooh, i just okay look guys i'm gonna tell you something so the bottom is so bad and dirty because i brought these to vegas if you guys didn't know in vegas the pavement gets so hot that it begins to burn so all your shoes turn black on the bottom because every time you walk you're like picking up the burnt pavement so if you don't want to ruin your shoes don't bring them to vegas smart okay but yeah so i have these pink ones i don't know the color way to this either yikes but these are really cute and then we also got these ones so i had to get these these are the blue version um they're super cute as well and also i love to wear like one blue one and one pink one that's so cute i want to do that and i want to switch out the laces and then wear it like that i think that would be fire i don't know what do you guys think i think i should do it but yeah so these are really cute and like i said the other sides to my shoes i just left them over there because i don't know i didn't really feel like it was necessary to bring both pairs so yeah okay now let's go to my other jordans i'm gonna go grab them really y'all so moving on i just grabbed the rest of the jordans that i own um and then i'm gonna move on to like air maxes i'll show you some of the converse and bands that i have too but i'm just gonna finish off with my jordan collection um, so the next pair that i have is these retro fours these are the black cats these are yeah kind of gas they're kind of dirty though um also yeah so don't clown on me for having my shoes a little dirty i know i need to clean them i just haven't had time it like loki kind of takes time to clean your shoes um but yeah and i did bring these ones to vegas i think too so they got a little more dirty but i love these i wear them all the time um also i have big feet so if you guys see that the shoes look big it's because i have big feet so yeah but it's kind of nice because i can buy men's shoes that way okay, the next pair these are terribly dirty but they're so cute i literally love them um these i forget what they're called i think they're the winter 11s or something but i know they're 11s but i just don't remember what the colorway is called but basically they're like super glittery you can't really see the glitter that well but the bottom is literally breaks my heart because I brought these to Vegas and they got so dirty. So I definitely need to clean them. I will clean them. I promise. But yeah, these are the most expensive shoes that I own because I did buy them for full full price. I think they were 220 or 230 when I bought them when they first dropped and they sold out pretty quickly. So I'm happy I got a pair. Yeah, and also I just bought those like because I saw that they were glittery and I was like, that's literally so me. Like to have a glittery Jordan. I love the next them. pair these are my favorite pair of jordans i would say are the unc threes these go for quite a bit now i think they're like around 400 um when i first bought them i got my discount on them so they weren't that expensive they're around 100 something um but i literally love these they're super cute um the only pair of threes that i own but i definitely want to get more pairs of threes and more pairs of fours for sure and 11s um just because those are like my favorite styles so for me i like jordans but i don't like i only like certain styles so like my favorites are the ones 11s fours and threes and then some 12s for me like 12s are either really hit or miss because there's some colorways it's really ugly but and they like look too bulky but then other colorways like okay that's pretty fire you know so i wish i'd gotten the white and gray 12s when we dropped them but i didn't but i should have got them um but yeah, so that's it for my Jordan collection. I am gonna show you guys now my Air Maxes. It's an Air Max party. So moving on to my Air Maxes, um, I'm not gonna show you guys all the shoes I have because if I do that, it'll take too long. I have a lot of shoes. Um, making this video, I actually realized, I didn't realize I had so many shoes, but making this video and trying to show you guys everything, I was like, wait, kind of have a lot of shoes. Maybe my mom is right. Um, but basically my collection is growing every week, probably, because I just, I see shoes at work and they go on sale, and you guys know what that means, I gotta buy them. Um, so I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but I'm just gonna show you my favorites, okay? So I'll show you my favorite Air Maxes. These are the Air Max uh, the Vapor Max Plus, actually. Um, they're all red. These are really fire, in my opinion. I like them. I don't wear them a lot because one thing about the Vapor Max Plus, 
they're literally so squeaky i don't know if you guys have ever noticed that but if you're coming don't wear them to school i'm telling you right now do not wear these shoes to school because everybody will hear you coming down the halls you'll be like Kee -kee -kee, like down the entire halls <laughs> and literally everybody's gonna hear you coming and it's so embarrassing especially when there's nobody else in the hall but you and like one other person you're like hey hey yeah so don't wear them to school if you buy a pair it's really awkward um but yeah, I have these ones, and then I have them in black, too. I really like the way these look. I want to get them in white, but I think they'd get dirty. But in my opinion, Vapor Maxes are pretty fire. I want to get some Flyknit ones. I don't have those yet, but I will get some. Um, and then, of course, the classic 97s. Um, these pink ones, these are the first pair of, like, Air Maxes I ever bought. Um, but these pink Air Max 97s, every time I wear them, I get a lot of compliments. I love the colorway. I've never seen anybody else with this one. Um, but it's a really cute pink color, so it kind of goes with everything. And yeah, Air Max, like the 97s are decently comfortable to me. I don't know, I would say the most comfortable out of Air Maxes for me is going to be the 270s, the 270 Reacts, and the Vapor Maxes. Those are my all-time favorites, like, working. And then I have these 270 Reacts. These are part of the EOS collection stands for evolution of swoosh and i bought these because i don't know i think they're just really cute and really different and when you put the flash on them you see how it's like reflective it reflects a really cool color um and then the nike swoosh on it, it's just really different there's that cool inside um so yeah i just love these i don't really wear them that much because i feel like they're more of a statement shoe they don't really go with a lot but I do like wearing them and I usually get compliments when I wear them. So yeah, they're really comfortable too. Um, and then the last pair of Air Max I'm going to show you guys are these 90s. So these are the only pair of 90s I own. Typically, I don't like Air Max 90s. Um, there's only very select colors that I like because I feel like they just kind of look, I don't know. They look kind of weird to me for some reason, but I really, I love these. These are so cute. When I first saw them, I was like, <sighs> they came out around 4th of July, I think, because um, Nike had a little 4th of July collection, but I saw these and I was like, okay, I have to get them. So me and my best friend, we both got them. Um, we haven't worn them together, but we should definitely do that. So if you're watching this, we're wearing them together. Um, but yeah, these are really cute. I wear these a lot. I also like just like the white ones are really cute too my best friend he has those and i want them um but yeah okay so now i'm gonna move on to my converse and vans and then i'll show you guys one of my favorite pair of air forces again i'm not going to show you guys everything that's going to take too long but i'm just going to show you my favorites you don't really need to see the basic shoes so i just grabbed some air forces some of my favorite Converse and one pair of my Vans that I really like to show you guys. Um, I'm gonna start with the Vans. So these, they're horribly dirty. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but they're pretty dirty. It's kind of sad. Um, but yeah, these are definitely my favorite pair of Vans that I ever bought. The rainbow ones, they're so cute. They're just really fun. And I don't know, I like them a lot. I love Vans. Honestly, they're me. They're super comfortable because they're really flat, so like I can work in them and just feel like close to the ground. And my feet usually don't hurt too bad. So definitely love these. Um, I managed to keep them pretty good though. I've had them for three, four years now, and they're still in pretty good condition. I don't really clean them that often, so kudos to me, I guess. So then Air Forces. These ones, I also have just like the basic white Air Forces too. I don't really wear them that much because they're they're old. I need new ones. But yeah, I have these which are really cute. I love these. They have like a reflective kind of orange, yellow hue tint to them. They're really fun. Um, I don't see a lot of people. I know one of my coworkers has these too. Brandon, if you're watching this, I know you have these. Um, so yeah, and then another pair. These are my favorite pair of Air Forces I ever bought, okay? These are going to be the Utility Neon Air Forces. I literally love these and the first time I ever wore them was to the Ariana Grande concert. It's actually why I bought them, just so I could wear them with my NASA outfit. Um, because they're very like space age, like utility, astro type vibes. And I love them. Um, 
definitely one of my favorite pairs of shoes. I really don't wear them that often, but I do love these shoes a lot. So yeah, these are one of my faves. I get quite a few compliments when I wear these. Okay, now moving on to Converse. These are my most recent addition to the shoe collection. I just bought these like last week, two weeks ago. Have not worn them a single time yet, but they say not chuck all over them. Honestly, I love these, they're super cute. I had to stop myself from buying the white ones too, so I could do like one black and one white shoe. That would have been so fire, but I was like, you know what? I don't need to spend the money. I have so many shoes. Maybe I'll get them eventually if they go on like super sale or something. Um, the other pair of Converse I have are these ones. They're really cool. They kind of remind me of the Dior ones a little bit. Obviously, they're not nearly as nice, but it has like the mesh effect, which the Dior ones kind of have. So it's just Converse all over it. All star. These ones got a little dirty. Vegas, once again, brought these there. Um, but yeah, and also I really want to wear, I like these, I bought these because I want to be able to wear neon socks underneath or colored socks with my outfits. That would literally be so fire. Like, think about it, you guys. See how they're mesh? If you wear, like, pink neon sock or blue sock, you can make it into any color you want. It's pretty cool. That's it for this part. But I do have a few other pairs I want to show you guys. I want to show you one of my pairs of basketball shoes that I really like. And then I'm going to show you guys a pair of shoes that literally okay this is so funny hold on don't clown on me okay but the filas okay i bought these when they were cool and i literally never ever wear them um the only reason i haven't thrown them away and i still own them is because i have an entire fila outfit that matches these and the sweatsuit outfit's actually really cute it's a blue velvet sweatsuit and I really want to just wear the fit. So like when I wear the fit, I have to wear the feel of shoes. And I know, okay, kind of bad. But I'm just the person who likes to coordinate, okay? So if you ever see that fit on my gram with the shoes, don't clown on me. Because you know I have other cool shoes. So don't clown on me. Okay. And then I want to show you guys my favorite pair of basketball shoes that I ever bought. I have like four other pairs of basketball shoes, but they're just really basic. But these ones so fire I love them and one of my favorite things about when playing basketball is having unique court game like shoe game because I just feel like even if it's way different than your uniform color it's like whoa like she has like heat on the court too like that's pretty cool you know I just love I love having shoes that express my personality and these shoes definitely did for me so I think these are called the peach colorways these are the KDs I don't remember what model of KD these are. I don't really keep track of that. Um, but yeah, these are honestly great shoes to play in. I enjoy playing in. I never have liked KDs in the past. The only other pairs I have are Kyrie's. Um, I think I have the, the I want to say fives and sixes. Kyrie six and fives. I have those. Um, and they're, they're both just black, so it's not really that interesting. So... Yeah, and also I love this colorway. It kind of reminds me of Spongebob. I don't know, with all like the different colors and Patrick. I don't know, like the spots kind of remind me of Patrick for some reason. But yeah, that's my sneaker collection. Um, and then I have my dress shoes. Like I have a couple pairs of heels and boots and stuff, but I have that in my closet, so it's separate. And I like, honestly, I'm more of a sneakerhead. I don't, I don't wear heels regularly unless I'm going out to fancy dinner. I don't really wear boots. Like... In the summer, not summertime, in the fall I start wearing boots. So, the fall I have like my Doc Martens and all that. So, yeah. Okay. Let me show you guys my shoe rack. Yeah, here's my shoe rack. This is where I keep all of my sneakers or the shoes that I wear more often. Some of my other athletic shoes down there. But yeah, that's basically it. Right next to my bed and my TVs up there. And yeah, I wanted to get shoe boxes, like to put all these shoes in, because as you can see, my shoe rack's really full, but it didn't really fit the aesthetic of my room. So if you guys have an idea of how I should set my shoes up over here, comment it down below and let me know, because I'm trying to get some ideas. So yeah. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, um, turn on post notifications, like this video, and share it. You guys, please share my channel with other people. That would be great.
I'm really excited to be doing YouTube, having my own channel. I'm going to be posting on here once a week is the goal. Um, you guys know I'm busy with school and all that. It's really complicated, but I'm going to do my best. So if you want to stick around and watch me grow on YouTube, I would love that. And I would love for you guys to be part of this little family. We're going to start going on here, but I hope you guys enjoyed knowing what it's like to work at Champs and seeing my shoe collection. So stay tuned. All right. Bye, guys.